Hello everybody. Hey, I hope you've been having a great day. We've been really busy today, right from early this morning until just a few minutes ago. We've been working cattle, getting them ready for the sale coming up. Clipping them, they're all getting haircuts, and looking really sharp. But So I apologize for being very late on today, but I hope that you can still spend a few minutes with me. You know, I was just thinking before I went on, it's such a, a satisfying thing. You know, there's many things we do in life that we're not sure how they're going to turn out. You know, we make <laughs> gambles in business here or there, or we might do this or that where we're not sure what the fruit really will be. But when it comes to the word of the Lord, you cannot bring it forth except that it will bring forth fruit. And what a confident thing to be able to do. And so I'm thankful that you can join me in it. So today, of course, yesterday was Good Friday, and today is the day that um, I just can't imagine how the apostles and the disciples were feeling. They just must have been distraught, must have been so lonely, must have been so in question, depressed even. Who knows? But it was a tough day for them. And, you know, we have the advantage of knowing what happens tomorrow. But, you know, many times in our life, we are in that Saturday where we don't know, where we don't know how it's going to turn out. We can't see any good coming from what our situation is. But we have to know that we, we may weep for a moment, but joy comes in the morning. And God always has a good end for those that will put their trust in Him. And it may not be an end that we planned for, but we know the maker of the whole universe, the one who put it all together just so magnificently, has control over these things and has control over your situation and my situation. So maybe you feel like the disciples did on Saturday some days, but just know that he is risen and that because he lives, we too can live also. And um, I thought that's really good news. So I've got a couple songs that I'd like to sing if I can manage them. Um, parts of them, I should say. I'm not sure if you know this one. Lo, in the grave he lay, Jesus, my Savior, waiting the coming day, Jesus, my Lord. Up from the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph for his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Did you know that one? I should, if I can manage to see it, I'm going to try and sing another verse. Vainly they watch his bed, Jesus my Savior. Vainly they seal the dead, Jesus my grave he arose with a mighty triumph for his foes he arose a victor from the dark domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign he arose he arose hallelujah Christ arose sing the last verse 
Death cannot keep his prey, Jesus, my Savior. He tore the bars away, Jesus, my Lord. Up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph for his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Amen. He arose. So remember that when you're going through a tough time, there may be times in the valley, there may be times in the tomb, but Christ arose and so shall you. So instead of reading in Luke today, going on in our normal reading, I thought I'd like to read Isaiah 53. And it's a familiar verse and um, And there's a song that goes along with it that I sang not too long ago, but if I remember it, I'm going to sing it again. Wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, all of our sins on Him were laid. By his stripes we are healed. He was despised and rejected. Man of sorrows was he. How can I help but love him? He gave his life for me. How can I help but love him? He gave his life for me. Amen. Well, let's turn to Isaiah 53. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for what you're doing in our lives, what you have done, what you've accomplished on the cross. You said it was finished and the work is done. Help us now to accept what you've done and let it work in our lives, the fruit that you have designed it to do. Lord, bless the reading of your word today. Bless each and every one. Bless each one who's going through trials today. There are many that are sick today and I want to ask that you would just raise them up, Lord. I pray that you would give them peace and that you would give them hope in what you have done on the cross and in the shedding of your blood. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Amen. All right, so we'll read in Isaiah 53. I'm reading out of King James if you want to read along word for word. Otherwise, you read along in whatever you want. 53 and 1. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed." All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, 
and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Verse 10, Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, and he, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Can you just imagine the heart of God in that, what he did? Taking all the wrong that you and I are and were and interceding for us on our behalf to God giving up his own life, that we could live free. Oh, so what do we do? We thank him and we live free. So let's do that. So I want to thank you all for taking some time on YouTube and Facebook today and on our VIP page to uh, spend some time on this. It's, uh, like I said, you can never go wrong because his word never returns void you look to him and he will not turn away from you. Um, just trust in him. Turn away from the things that he's asking you to turn away from and all will be well. He has your very best in his heart and in his mind for you. He has good plans. So trust in his sacrifice, in the shedding of his blood in which there is no remission of sins so you and I could walk free. So thank you again. Thank you for all your support for our family and our music as well. Amen. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow morning.